Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So uh, in this data analysis in Power BI series, today we are going to learn about data cleaning process and data evaluation process. In previous videos, what we learned? We learned how we can import the data, then how we can understand the data. Understand means that going through the data. And after that, if we found some impurity in the data, then how we can clean those data, okay? Before proceeding with this Power BI explanation, let me tell you, if you need this working file, just go through the description section of this video and you will get the link, okay? And whatever the sample data I'm going to use in this session, that will also provide it, okay? Okay, so let's start. After importing the data, we can observe that there are two buttons, load or transform the data. Transform the data means whenever we are getting any data, so we have to process it, clean it and transform it for our analysis, okay? So it's not like that we are getting the data and we are creating the visualization. It's not like that. We have to go through all the data analysis steps, okay? And data processing is the key important steps of any data analysis project. Uh, when we are using this transform data, it is going to the Power Query Editor, okay? So Power BI, we know that Power BI is consists of different, different component. So Power Query Editor is the part of this component. And normally this Power Query Editor is used for this data transformation. That means it is a powerful ETL tool. Also in Power Query Editor, we are using some programming language, which is known as M. Okay, and this is case sensitive language. After moving to this Power Query Editor, we are doing some data cleaning. That means we are finding some uh, inconsistency and how we can remove those. So we can do some replace error method or replace value method, remove rows method. And instead of that, also we can find out the root cause of any error. I'll show you in a minute okay so now we are in power bi okay so for this i'm going to import some sample data set okay so click on this here you can observe we are getting this load and transform data so i'm just clicking on this transform data however if we click on this load then it will automatically open in our Power BI editor. Okay, let me show you that also. And after that, if you click on this transform data, then automatically this Power Query editor will be open. Okay, now uh, in this sample data, I have some of the columns. Okay, category, customer, postal code, sales, order date, all those things. Now, this Power Query editor supports different type of data type. If we, for example, if I click on this column, right click and you can find out decimal, fixed decimal, whole number, percentage, date time, date and so on. Text, Boolean, binary and using locally. Using locally, we are using for this date time, data type. And by default, whenever we are importing any file, by default, it will consider some data type. But for our requirement purpose, we are changing this to a proper data type. So uh, if you observe by default, it is considering text, but we know that postal code is normally a integer value or numeric value. So if I right click and change type, now if you want to change this to whole number, okay? Now you can observe we are getting error, okay? If you click on any column, you can find the description that we could not convert to number because of this value. For some countries, we are using this postal code uh, denote. So for that reason, we don't need to change the data type. Okay. So, uh, and if you want to revert back to the old uh, area, you can just click on this and it will remove that. Here we have this 
cell sphalum okay and uh, it's also showing the text but definitely we need the cells value in whole number or the decimal number mainly the decimal number but if i can let us see what is happening if i convert to the decimal number you can observe we are getting some error why is it so here are different options we can replace values we can replace errors remove errors and remove duplicates all those things if i'm going to select this remove errors okay this error column will be removed but it could be possible that the the other field for this corresponding rows are very important we cannot delete the data in that way so there is another possibility to replace the errors but uh, with which value we can replace the errors how we can replace these errors let us see if i click on this error column we can find out the na that means is there some text value okay so that means there is no value so we can replace this na with zero how we can do that just right click replace error and give some value zero you can observe it has been replaced with zero and the data type has been changed and here we have added one another step replaced errors okay so we have observed how we can replace the error instead of removing the errors it could be possible there are many rows and you do and you want to remove all those rows because from here you can find out the statistics okay so there are some percentage of uh, error you can remove from your data set but definitely it's based on your requirement okay another thing is that uh, we can replace the values okay for example here we have this technology value let me uh replace with this value is a different name okay so if i am writing here technology and replace with technology underscore new so my value has been replaced okay. so we can observe how we can this replace value now this date type is also very important for you we can observe by default it is considering this order date as text okay if we just click on this so you can observe it is considering as text so before transforming to the date type let us check what is the date time stamp locally it is following if i click on this using locally by default it is considering this united kingdom time stamp but before changing to you can convert it to us time stamp also based on your customer requirement okay in this data set my date is in uk format that means dd mm yyy okay so i'm not changing anything here i'm just clicking okay and right click then date so my date has been converted to this date time okay so in this way you can evaluate your data type for different corresponding fields okay based on the requirement and it it's not like that you need to convert everything in one shot it's based on the requirement you can keep on updating and whenever if you have applied any steps all your steps will be added here if you go back to each every steps and you can observe what are all the changes you have done for that corresponding steps okay if i click on this you can find out you have done this replace values another thing if we click on this replace error you can observe that you have in changed this error with this zero value so in this way all your changes are on track in this power query editor after changing everything you just need to click on close and apply okay and your data set has been created okay so as we have changed this to date type that's why automatically it will create this date hierarchy if it is in text type this hierarchy will never be created okay and this number field so by default it will consider some 
aggregation rules. So others are it's a text value and these are also some text value. Okay. So in this way you can do some data cleaning process and your data type evaluation process. I hope from this video you learn how you can do this data processing. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.